Hi kids, it's Miss Seven. Welcome to this week's episode of our series called Wonder Women. Today we are going to talk about Hannah. Not Hannah Montana. <laughs> now, when we need help, we all have certain people to talk, I mean, turn to. It could be mom, dad, your aunt or uncle, or even a best friend. But all of us have someone we call first when we are in need. We don't need a little phone to call on God. We just need to pray. God wants us to pray for all the time. For the little things and for the big things. Even if it's little as no traffic. Oh man, I really want that. <laughs> or it's as big as your dream vacation. Now, he wants us to pray for ourselves, for family, friends, for our church, and even for our enemies. We have to pray for them so that they'll have Jesus and God in their hearts and accept them as their Savior. God wants us to pray for everything and everyone. God wants us to pray big. He is a God who still does miracles. And if we believe, God will do big things, just like he did for Hannah. Heroes can do big things as well. Prayer warriors pray for big things. Let's become heroes by getting on our knees and asking God to do big things in our lives and in our community.
books are filled with not only great heroes but great villains. These villains put together some terrible plots to try and take over the city, the country, and the world, depending on their ambitions. Some villains are earth-born and some come from other worlds or other dimensions. Whatever their origin, these villains are far too much for ordinary women to uh, tackle with their honey weapons. It takes a superhero to defend a super super villains. When people are in trouble, held hostage by a fiendish villain, the people call on their heroes for help. If Lex Luthor is giving the city trouble, the people of Metropolis call Superman. If the Joker is up to his old tricks, they call Batman. And when the Green Goblin is dropping pumpkin bombs on the city, you can bet Spider-Man will get the call. Wonder Woman has plenty of enemies of her own. Apollo, the Firstborn, Maxwell Lord, Serge, Cheetah, Arix, and the entire German army of I mean German army of World War One are just a few of the villains she has fought one by one. The list is even bigger when we look at Wonder Woman's accomplishments with the Justice League. Earth's mightiest superhero team has depended some of I mean defeated okay some of the greatest villains in the galaxy. When he need a miracle the Justice League is there to defend Earth from all enemies. In the real world we don't have superheroes with magical abilities like Superwoman to save us from trouble. So who do we turn to when we need a miracle? God wants us to turn to Him for every need. God wants us to pray for big miracles and small ones. He wants us to pray every day to become prayer warrior like today's Wonder Woman of the Bible. Hannah. Stories of the Bible. God speaks to Samuel. This is Samuel. Hi. Samuel was the son of Hannah. Hey, Samuel. Hannah prayed for God to give her a son, and God did. So Hannah gave Samuel back to God. See you, Samuel. Bye, Mom. And Samuel grew up in the temple serving under Eli, the priest. Hi, Eli. As Samuel grew up, he learned how to serve God from Eli. Samuel lived in the house of God, but he did not know God or what God's voice sounded like. In those days, messages from God were rare. <sighs> but one night after Eli had gone to bed, Samuel was sleeping in the tabernacle when suddenly God called out, Samuel! Huh? Samuel got up and ran to Eli and said, Did you call me? Not me. Eli said, I didn't call you. Go back to bed. So Samuel did. Then God called out again, Samuel. Huh? And again, Samuel got up and ran to Eli asking, Did you call me? Not me. Eli said, I didn't call you. Go back to bed. 
So Samuel did. God called Samuel for a third time, Samuel. Huh? And Samuel went to Eli yet again. Hmm. After three times, Eli realized that God was trying to speak to Samuel. So Eli taught Samuel to say, Speak, Lord. Your servant is listening. Okay. Samuel went back to bed, and God came and called as before, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel said, Speak, your servant is listening. God told him many things about what would happen to Israel. As Samuel grew up, God was with him, and everything God spoke through Samuel came true. Samuel was seen as a great prophet of God because he could hear the voice of God, and he listened when God spoke to him. Hannah wanted one thing more than anything else in the world, a child. But Hannah's body was unable to have children. Hannah was heartbroken, but she did not give up. She prayed her heart out. She begged God to give her a child, offering to give that child over to the Lord if he heard her prayer. Eli heard Hannah's prayer and God gave him a message for her. You will have a son. God will answer your prayer. If you read on 1 Samuel, you will learn that her firstborn son was Samuel. The prophet for whom this book and the next in the Bible were named. He was a great man of God and a leader of Israel. He anointed Saul and David to be Israel's king. He was an answer to prayer not only for Hannah, but for all of Israel. Hannah shows that when we pray persistently, God can do big things through our prayers. God knows our needs before we even ask. But He still wants us to ask. God wants us to pray all the time to be prayer warriors so He can do mighty things through us. And our memory verse for the week is found in Psalm 118 in verse 14. The Lord gives me strength and makes me secure. He has saved me. Hanging out with parents make this week lesson real. If you have a prayer journal, share that with your kids. If not, share with the kids a time that God answered one of your prayers. Hi kids! What's up? Are you ready for today's trivia? And I miss doing this! So if you're ready, let's do true or false this week! You have five questions to answer. Alright, and I'll give you some few seconds to answer each or think of your answer for each question. Question number one. Oh boy, by the way, when your answer is true, I want you to just do say true. But if it's false, just do false. Okay, ready? Great. Question number one. Hannah had many children when she prayed to God to give her another child. Is it true or false? Okay, the answer is false. Question number two. Hannah was unable to have children. Is it true or false? Come on kids, let's see. Alright, the answer is true. Question number three. Eli told Hannah that God would not answer her prayer. Is it true or false? Okay, the answer is false. Question number four. Hannah named her son David. Is it true or false? What's your answer, kids? Let me see. Yes, the answer is false. Question number five. And it's the last question. 
When we pray, believing God will answer, God can do miracles. Is it true or false? Let me see your answer. Wow, that's so great. The answer, of course, is always true. Thank you, kids, for helping me answer our trivia questions this week. So, till next time. Here's a craft idea for you. Using colored papers and other craft materials, have the kids create a prayer journal to take home and use as they start their daily prayer habit. Make sure to include some superhero stickers in the craft materials. Prayer warriors are people who pray every single day. Are you a prayer warrior? <laughs> I'm a prayer warrior. Now the pray prayers of saints, they pray prayers of repentance and prayers for our needs as well, as well as the need of others. Prayer warriors trust that God will hear their prayers and they pray believing that anything and any miracle can happen. And they are correct, anything can happen if you ask God. And it takes a lot of discipline to become a prayer warrior. For most people, it's helpful to set aside time every day to begin a habit from prayer. Like in the morning when you wake up, or a time before school, after school, right before bedtime. Pick a time you can set aside with God every single day. Make it a daily appointment that you will never and do not miss. Don't let anything distract you you when you start. Whether you pray in the morning and you're at a sleepover, don't let that stop you. Pray with pride. Now, many prayer warriors also keep a journal to write down things they pray for. A journal is helpful for remembering people who need prayer. We can write down their names and the things we pray for. Writing things down is especially helpful when God begins to answer those prayers, we can go back and write down when and how God answers us, and we can thank Him for answering those prayers. It doesn't take big muscles or years of going to church to become a prayer warrior. It takes daily commitment and a heart that believes in the impossible. This week, set aside time every day to pray. Ask God to make you, yes you, a prayer warrior and ask Him to help you develop a habit of prayer. Soon, you will become the kind of Christian who not only believes in miracles, but sees them happen every single day. Heroes are, I mean heroes know that when they help, they need to pray big. Big or small. God knows what we need. Take those needs to Him in prayer. Let's close with a simple prayer. Dear God, teach us to pray all the time. In His name, Amen. Bye kids, I hope to see you next time on our next episode of Wonder Woman. Do you know who the topic will be about? Let's find out next week. Goodbye kids! Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this to all of your friends who need to hear the gospel and accept Jesus as our Savior. That's all. Bye!